gentlemen. He doesn't need a lot of introduction. One of the best days of my life. He's been here before, but now he's 70. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me the one, the only, Golden Mercury of Africa, King Sonny Ajay! He doesn't like what I'm about to do, <laughs> but you have to allow me to do it. Don't beat me up. I know. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't like it, but I have to welcome you the way it is doing me, my spirit. Uh, it's going to be unusual, but I'm happy about it. Be playing the song. Ah. <laughs> Ezra, it seems uh, it seems too ordinary to welcome you with the normal prostration. That's why I did the backward one as well. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you too. Thank you. Uh, so I have to. Wadagba, I mean, I have to toss my heart on the stand, and uh, you are going to encourage me as usual. So just say, Daddy, first is James Bond there. So just say, uh, you are discouraging me. <laughs> We have to walk into it. Go tell you, go tell you, go tell you, go. Uh -huh. Go tell Daddy, they always, they always think it is easy. So I, I want to prove that it's not easy. Daddy, shall I try? I'm at it. Go Sonny, go Sonny, go Sonny, go Sonny. Go Sonny, go Sonny, go Sonny. Go Sonny. Oh! Oh! I'm such a disgrace. <laughs> no, you are not. Uh, ah, Daddy, oh God. Suruni, it's because you are very anxious. Wow. Sure. Because it's a thing you normally love to do. Yes, sir. And sometimes when you're too anxious for, you didn't get yourself. You know, when I got the cap from you, yeah. I said, God. He prayed, I didn't pray. <laughs> see, see, pride, <laughs> young pride. You, you, know, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to um, immortalize this moment. This is going to be a KSA moment on the Tejue Face Show. Amen. He has thrown it, he has gotten it. It will be like that. I'm not throwing hard again. <laughs> Thank you. I have a bigger cup somewhere. You have a bigger cup somewhere? Can I borrow yeah. it? Can yeah, I where's, it? where's, where's, bring Can daddy's hat. Can my cup? Uh, bring daddy's hat along. He came with a... It came with a uh, nice hat. I think so. Yeah, bring, don't be oh, shy. Yeah. You can throw it. Who chance to get out of book? Ah, throw it. <laughs> 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 
I don't know if. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, you, will, you will, as we go on, have an idea what these moments mean to me. You, you, you don't have... <laughs> he was here in 2010. That was a boyhood dream come true in the year 2010. It's now seven years later. And uh, for those of you who may not know, though I doubt there's, I doubt there's anybody on the face of the earth who doesn't know that he's, he's turned 70 or he was 70 last year, and we're celebrating him. <laughs> On this episode. All right, uh, we're going to do the show as per normal. It's time for my top three amazing facts on this episode, and these are King Sonny Ade amazing facts. Yeah. Usually, I have to carry this card and look, you know, but why will we? Without even looking at anything, I can give you enough facts about him. So I'll start with three. Live away. Amazing fact number one. Did you know that uh, before King Sonny Ade came on the Juju music scene, all the Juju musicians used to perform sitting down. But when he came on the scene, on the advice of the late Bobby Benson, he started to stand up and dance. And now everybody stands up to play Juju music. She will get you. Live away. Did you know, amazing fact number two, did you know that King Sonny Ade has been honored all over the world? He has the keys to the city of Atlanta, Providence, Miami, and he has a King Sonny Ade day in Atlanta. <laughs> Lai Wu, again. It's called King Sonny Ade, king of world beats, king of world music, and people think it was something he chose for himself. People call themselves General this, Chief that, Sergeant this. Do you know that King Sonny Ade was officially coronated, so to speak? He was crowned king of world music by his royal imperial majesty, Obala Media Day, Emi Ovoyo. I've done three, I can keep going. Do you know King Sonny Ade was the first Nigerian artist to buy a Rolls Royce in London. <laughs> Shame on law. Should I keep going? <laughs> no, we have, look, we have a full show. Let me just tell you now. This show is going to be divided, split into two shows because we're not going to be through with it. We're going to take a break now and then we're going to come into, it's not as much an interview as it's a musical journey. I've chosen seven King Sonny Ade tracks to play. Uh, that for me, sir, was very difficult. Mm -hmm. I, I was reading, you can ask my wife, we got home yesterday, even though I know what I wanted to do with you, I had to read and read and write and listen and listen because uh, dialing down all your music to seven that I will play was very difficult for me. You tried. I tried, Abby. Honestly. <laughs> so we're going to come with seven and those seven songs are going to lead us into seven different things. Every time I play a song, anybody who can sing that song along with me, He's going to get a gift. Stay with us. We'll be right back on Ted Ray Fisher. Don't go away. Stay tuned for more because the Ted You Baby Face Show will be back after these messages. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're yeah, welcome back to the Tajiwe Fish I have uh, my father here, the Golden Mercury of Africa, King Sonia. Of all your titles, that's the one I love the most. Thank you. I, as a child, I don't know what that one just did for me. Golden Mercury, Mercury of, of Africa. Africa. I, I, I just love that one. Thank you. Okay, sir. Uh, he's 70. We're here celebrating him. So he's not going to do much. We're going to take him on a musical journey. Each musical journey has a question tied to it. I'm doing seven songs for seven decades. One song for each decade. Now, 
Thank you, you can clap. <laughs> oh, by the way, that's the king of talk, talking to the king of uh, world beat. So, uh, you know how it goes. Can I borrow some? Oh, yes, sir. It's yours. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. So, this is what we'll do, the seven songs, sir. I have questions, seven questions for you. Um, when I play each song, I will get up and dance. Uh, as I'm dancing, sir, if the spirit leads you, uh, you can join me. You don't have to. As usual. Uh, you don't really have to. There's the one you're going to join me, the other one we're going to do it together, as usual. But you don't have to. Just let me dance. Timbati and Bajer, I can run with me. No, Bajer. Only me, Bajer, you know. A father, something. So, uh, then while I'm doing that, um, I'm going to be spraying. Now, the Central Bank of Nigeria said uh, we can't spray Naira anymore. And I'm on national TV. So I've made my own cash, monopoly money, mm. in uh, different uh, denominations. It goes all the way to 500 and 1,000, different denominations. <laughs> uh, it all amounts to 70,000, 70 something. Whether it's 70,000 million, 70 million, $70,000, 70000 We Look, we, we, we have this money, and we're going to spend it. That's why we're begging those of you carrying your dollars, putting it inside the warehouse, somewhere on a dusty road, digging the carpet of your house, putting it inside your farm. Hot, bring out, let us spend this money. Bring this dollar, let us. Uh, put it, look. Put it in the economy. He put it, let us. It will affect all of us. It will affect your children as well. Stop hoarding money. We're going to spend our own. Uh -huh. Your children can't run anywhere. We're here together. If you like, be hiding. People hiding money in farm. Did you see the man they caught recently? One person in one dusty warehouse with 9.2 million naira or something. Oh, 9.8 dollars. It's amazing. Anyway, so we're going to go on this musical journey. Now, uh, at every song, I will present you a gift, sir. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll present you a gift with every track. I will present you a gift. Uh, I have uh, a sponsor for this. As you know, I I've, gone, I I've gone to my own people, I've gone grassroots, and the man sponsoring, one of our sponsors for this episode is David Hopkins. Please put your hands together for him. Stand up, uh, take a bow. David Hopkins. Yes, uh, he's a Nigerian manufacturer who makes many, many, many wonderful things. On this one, uh, for this track, I'm going to be giving King Sonia the two beautiful David Hopkins ties. Uh, there's a red and a black. <laughs> Obamu. There's a red and a black. And I will also be giving same thing to any member of the audience that is able to follow me on this track. I, I dare you. I, 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 I dare you. If you know how long I've been singing this. Now, sir, this song is one of my favorite songs of yours. Um, it, um, it does me somehow. When they play it, you know, uh, DJ Frank. Baby, for me, you're not to the near 
I dare anybody. <laughs> What's that track? What year? Nobody wanna know. Sir, that album is check. Eh? I think it was uh about 1980, one, two, three. Around that time, yes. About that time, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is the question I'm asking, sir. You have sung for a lot of people. Uh, which do you consider your greatest praise song? I have one in mind that I think you overworked in that song. Every time I listen to that song and the person you praise, I'm like, ah, hello, let me infuse on Aduru Gogo is I siphon your home. All this praising is just for one person. Uh, which do you consider your greatest? Uh, don't let me just say, let me say, all of them I sang for. The reason is uh, they are different to each other. And the time we made that record is quite different to each other. Okay. And you can, you can see that some people, among those who I sang for in my musical career, they, it's not only the money that matters, it's the help. There are some people I sang for when the Nigeria was uh, under this uh, uh, civil war. Yes, sir. During the, those years, there are particular two people. Yes, sir that each time and every two, two weeks, they will find a way to link up with me okay. and say, how are you doing? How about the boys? Are they okay? God knows when the, uh, the war is going to end, but at least we have to leave. Those are part of the people that I really appreciate so much. Okay. And um, somehow, uh, some, a, a doctor was among them that when I had an accident, uh, along Kutonu uh, Seme uh, Road. Yes, sir. And um, it was him who intentionally uh, committed himself to make sure I've been well treated, right from Igbobi to my house to everywhere, and even to London. Did you sing so, for him? Yes, I do. I, I do. Yeah. Which, which was the song? That's Dr. Saindemi. <laughs> Dr. Saindemi? Oh, that's Dr. Saindemi. Oh, you, you, you don't know music. You don't know me. <laughs> okay. Okay, sir. But, but unfortunately, by that time, I didn't know it's against the ethnic of uh, the doctor's uh, okay. association. They don't allow so it's not again. It's not allowed, so I've been summoned to a panel. But... I didn't know him from Adam. I only, I only knew him because he's, he, he, he does as if he's my father, he's my brother, he's everything. He's a doctor that's supposed to let this guy be uh, alive. Okay. So I didn't know. I didn't know his wife. I didn't know his children. I didn't know where he came from. But I was just a doctor is doctor. But this one is, is really did a, a good job for me and also what I need to do, I can't give him money, but let me praise him Which to write it? his name in the, my musical career book. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I did. And I still, and I still have that uh, album at home. Now, this is the one I like the most. Right. Maybe it was because of when I was born. Right. Um, it, it's just such a good track. Like I said, I was speaking to somebody, and in fact, many of us have agreed that, ah, Sonny, it's, uh, can, can anybody want to try? Anybody want to try? I still want to give this tie away. If you know Sonny, which track, which Sonny track do you feel like, ah, ah, I mean, this is too much for one person. Just try. MQ. MQ. Nah, nah. We have, that, we have that argument, but that one comes second or third for you newbies. Try again. No, it's not my theme song. Okay, I'm now. It's not my theme song. It's not Vashi You can't come up with it. Uh, 
So let me tell you which one it is. Lanre waju agun ta sholo eke are are ajagwa wudu ogbo are are je bola are ogbo gogun wa jalu ejawi are ogbo gogun wa jalu ejami o oke ago are mo lo do gbogbo mo ke yowo se and then it goes i mean that's an awesome awesome yeah. awesome track okay two guys did they try because i want to give all this stuff stuff away so stand off uh, while you look and the man in blue uh, both of them you and the man in blue please put your hands together for them <laughs> make sure you get your ties before we go all right we'll take a short break when we come back we'll come back into track number two don't go anywhere <laughs> For more because the Tell You Baby Face Show will be back after these messages. My name is Elijah Lai Mohammed. I'm the Minister of Information and Culture. You are watching Tell You Baby Face Show. All right, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome back to the Teju Baby Face Show. We're celebrating uh, the Golden Mercury of Africa, the King of World Beat, King Sonny Adi at 70. We're taking a musical journey of seven of his songs over the decades. I, like I said, it's taking a lot for me to winnow them down to seven, but we have seven. We've done one. Uh, I was magnanimous to my audience. I gave them, though they didn't get it, I will stop doing such things now. You have to man up. But if you didn't get that one, there's no way you will know this one. So I may as well tell you. This time around, I'll be giving away uh, these beautiful pocket squares from David Hopkins as well. Can you see this? Of course, I'm giving King Sonia Adi first. Thank you. Pocket squares. Mm -hmm. we, have a green, we have this. We have a purple. Nigerian guy. We have a black. All right. So these three pocket squares uh, for King Sonia Adi. And I'm giving the same to the audience. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> okay. All right. If you didn't know that song, there's no way you're going to know this one. Wow. So I might as well keep my pocket squares for myself. Uh, this song, sir, is another one I love, uh, but it's the beginning. I don't know what it means. Uh, when I finish dancing a bit, uh, you're going to explain what the beginning means to me. Uh, Frank, number two. <laughs>